Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Let's, uh, let's just forget that yesterday even happened. Yeah, let's just forget it. It didn't happen. And of course, as a result of the thing that didn't happen, we totally don't need to look for a new support member. Nope! Yeah, okay, I'm gonna look for a new support member. <laughs> if any mission comes up with a support member as one of the rewards, I'm going to take it. Aside from that, I don't think there's anything really to do. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything to do other than just wait. Right? I mean, is anyone injured? I think Arrow's injured, right? Yeah, Arrow took a lot of damage. She's wounded for three days. <sighs> Which one is it? Which one is it? Wait a minute. Wait, I thought there was something in the officer training school that increased the chances of someone, of one of your members, when they get killed or when their health goes to zero or below, it increases their chance of being critically wounded instead of dying. I thought that, wasn't that a thing? I don't see it. I could have sworn that was a thing. Apparently it's not. I guess my memory's playing tricks on me. Anyway, let's wait. Ghost armor! Boo. Archangel? Plasma. Well, I'm sure still not researching the plasma pistol. Yeah, I guess I'll do the Archangel arm, even though I'm almost certain I'm not going to use it. Alright, let's take a look at that ghost arm and see what it gives me. Even though, of course, I can't buy anything, because I am dirt freaking... What, what the hell is I going to say? Dirt cheap? That doesn't even make any sense. I'm poor. Poor as dirt. Six. Hmm. Can activate a special mode that makes him or her invisible to enemies, and you have a grappling hook. Not that that really matters. Ghost mode can be activated up to four times per battle. It, and using it does not cost an action. Okay. Hmm. Provides a moderate bonus to defense, equivalent to partial cover. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if that equivalent to partial cover thing actually stacked with the... Uh, whatever the sniper one is that makes half cover full cover? So you'd be in full cover all the time? <laughs> uh, I'm sure it doesn't work that way, but that would be pretty cool. Alright, it's got tons of advantages and... It would mean taking a 4 health hit on my sniper, but how often does my sniper even take damage? I like it. I almost want to give my entire squad this. I mean, four less health for the ability to become a ghost, uh, a squad full of ghosts. Meh. Nah, probably not worth it. I don't- I almost think that would be better. I mean, okay, so the, the assaults have a special ability that gives them a health bonus equal to... Uh, the kind of armor they have, whether it's heavy armor or medium. So you wouldn't want to give it to an assault. Because the bonus that assault troopers get from having heavy armor is immense. But for everyone else, that means they could be in full, uh, half cover all the time, even if they're just standing out in the open. And they can move further. And they can go invisible at any time. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to do it, but I'm too scared. Because I'm so comfortable with what I have. But, and, oh, my stomach's making noises. Calm down, stomach. It's okay. It's okay. The aliens aren't here for you. They're here for the planet. And all the humans on it. But not you. What? What? What the fuck? What the hell is this? What the hell? Yeah. Sir, internal systems are shutting down all over HQ. Um. What the fuck? This is central. Security status red. Repeat. Yeah. 
Yeah, central person who I don't care about, kick his ass. What have you done? Answer me! Sir, we're picking up movement near the outer perimeter. Multiple senses have been tripped. We have a breach! I heard about a base mission. This must be it. I totally forgot about it until now. Forces have infiltrated XCOM headquarters and are moving in with reinforcements. We have to protect the base at all costs. If we don't hold the line here, any hope we had of stopping this invasion will be lost. I need to defend my base. Holy shit, this is awesome. Defend Operation Ashes and Temples. Defend our base by all necessary means. If all soldiers in the combat area are killed, XCOM HQ will fall. We can't lose. Hmm, limited reinforcements, including XCOM base security personnel, are available. Good to know. Might have some friends here. Delta section, report. Delta section, report. Finally. Delta section. It looks like your emergency generators are back online. And oh, oh shh. Delta, whatever this attack is, you're right in the crosshairs. We've got perimeter alerts triggering from all sides. It looks like you've got flyers coming through the cavern near the rear guard station. Plus, you've got a whole wall of heat signatures coming down through the vents in the ceiling above you. Whoever breached our internal security locked down the door system separating you from the rest of the base. Once we get the doors open again, we can start sending reinforcements through, but that might take some time. Right now, it looks like the closest alarms being triggered are in the vents above you. Keep an eye out for any indications of movement. Delta this is really awesome. You have to hold the line. The future of XCOM is counting on you. This is such a cool change of pace. Okay, so who do they give me? Who do I have? Who the hell are you? Kumba? Kumba? Kumba. Amadi Kumba. You are... You're a freaking rookie. Thankfully, look, thankfully, though, I have Arrow, even though she was wounded. But nope, she's here, and I have both of my mechs. Okay, so is that all I have? No, no. J who the... I don't even know who you are. Right, so we have good... We have three good people and two useless people. It's okay, though. They can run in front of the bullets to save the important people. I'm just kidding. I love all of my soldiers. Actually, that's not true. Okay, so I need to get this open, right? Can, can I open this? I thought he said you could open it, but... Nothing here actually says you can open it. It just says currently unavailable. Um... Okay, well, I might as well move towards it. And just get some overwatch. So, let's do that. Alright, so they're coming from up here, correct? Holy shit, this is big. They're coming from up here. Maybe I should move my rookies down. As good as it is to have a height advantage. Actually, no, maybe I shouldn't move them down. I think I should move my other people up. Can I do that? Well, like a jetboot module, of course. Hold on, I want to know if I can open this. I could have sworn he said we could open it. Okay. Choose my highest mobility person. Is this... way? do I need a person here to open it? Because I know mechs can't actually directly open doors. They can open them just by running through them. But, ah, fuck. I can't tell. Yeah, I'm gonna move my people up. Let's get a height advantage. We're either gonna be on the level with the enemies, if they're up here, or we're gonna be above them. Either way, it's much better than being down here, because if my rookies are the only ones I can really shoot the enemies up here, and we got a bunch of chrysalids, and my people have to sprint up there to do anything, that is a bad situation to be in. 
I don't know if I need to get to the door. He suggested it. it sounded like he said I do, but I don't see anything up here saying I should or can. So, I don't know. Maybe something that just unlocks after a certain amount of time. I'm going to roll with that assumption. Uh, okay. Not sure where they're going to come from. I am going to put you here. You'll be in cover. Full cover and concealed. Unfortunately, it looks like my rookies are going to be doing the overwatching. They have basic weapons. Oh my god, they have... My rookies have basic weapons. They don't even have laser weapons. They don't even have plasma weapons. They're practically useless. Alright, at least I can put one good soldier on Overwatch. Okay. It's gonna happen. Whoa. Oh, hi. Now we all have a height advantage. Kill confirmed. Oh, shit. Hmm. Please tell me there's not more. Oh. Alright, well I can forget about you. You're not gonna do it. Oh my god! More? Okay, well some of these I don't need to worry about. They're not... Oh. You've got fresh reinforcements ah. standing by, Commander. The bad news is we drain the auxiliary power banks while holding the doors open. <laughs> what? We're going to take some time to reroute power for another attempt. <laughs> you only had enough on the auxiliary power banks to op to hold a fucking door open for five seconds? I... What? Central. Out of all the useless things you told me, you think at one point you could have piped in with, Hey, our battery... Our backup auxiliary power appears to be comprised of one 9-volt battery. Do you think we should maybe upgrade it with some of the alien technology we've gotten? Please advise, Commander. Oh my god. <laughs> the fuck? <sighs> right, well, um... Let's look at their beautiful names. Jan Van Dyke. Dirk de Graff. <laughs> Dirk de Graff. That's a lovely name, Dirk de Graff. And Graves. Graves? Oh, f what? Wait, what? Why do you suck, Graves? That is Graves. But for some reason, Graves is complete shit because he doesn't have... Oh my god, it's Graves kitted out as a noob. Graves, I'm gonna have you hide because I don't want you to... You're my last support! I can't have you dying. I need to hide him. This is horrible, why did you have to send him in? And why in such a horrible state? He's freaking max level. He's a colonel, Colonel Graves. And yet he has 10 hit points because he doesn't have any armor on. Other than the basic armor, and he has a default gun. He doesn't even have a med kit. Jesus. Okay. Right, priorities number one are, of course, the mectoids. Okay, so I can pretty much guarantee the deaths of little sectoids. Alright, I can use your rapid fire. You you can't see anyone? The fuck? Okay. This is terrible. There's literally no enemy I can get any sort of AoE splash damage on. I mean I could get I could get damage on damage on one, of course, but not multiple ones, which makes that extremely inefficient. I could destroy cover, there's no point. I guess I just need to move you. Who can you see? You can see that. Um. Um. Eight. Or I could jump down and punch you. Hold on. See, I can do a lot of damage to this one, because I can get arrows rapid fire. Which would be quite nice. 
There is a commander over here, but I think I probably just shouldn't even worry about the commander, especially because I can't even see it. I'll cross that bridge when I get mind-controlled on it. Uh, mectoids are definitely the biggest threat. Definitely. Alright, so the thing is, I can't... Um, I can't run and gun over to you, so you're the one I need to focus on the most. I could get one good shot on you from down here. In fact, would that be close enough to Electropulse? I don't think so. Alright, well, I need to make sure Graves survives. Um... Alright, I'm gonna move you here. N nothing's on Overwatch, right? Please tell me nothing's on Overwatch. Okay, good. Wh what? Yeah. <sighs> can you pull? No, of course you can't. Well, fuck me. Right. I'm just gonna leave you there for now. And I am going to shoot you. Excellent. I could possibly kill you if I get a crit. Of course that won't happen. Nope. Alright. Well, you're definitely dead. <sighs> could I even shoot him at all? I, gu I guess I could move here... And I'd probably have a shot on him. I mean, it's far away, which is shit for the shotgun, but it is a height advantage, so... There might be a decent chance. What's the alternative? I don't even know if there's any other place I could go to that I could see him from. Down here would be the same thing, but without the height advantage, so what's the point? Killing a sectoid with run and gun is kind of stupid. Hold on. Should I use you? I mean, you can't hit anything else, so why wouldn't I? I could do a bit of damage to you. I could kill... kill that? No. No. I can't. Flamethrower won't do anything to a mectoid. Hmm. So I can either do 5 damage to you, or probably kill you. Um, I'm thinking 5 damage against this thing is probably better. Let's do it. Because this thing is going to be the one that I need to soften up a lot to kill. Whereas the other one, it's already been softened up. Right, let's just take care of you. You're pathetic. Oh, god damn, you rookies. You shitty, shitty rookies. You know what? You, you can get shot in the face. You can get shot in the face from that sectoid for your crimes against humanity. Hold on. I could shoot with you, but why not just throw a grenade? Might as well throw a grenade. Because all of you rookies have terrible aim. At least you can aim a goddamn grenade. Jalla, or whatever that name is, earned a promotion. Too bad he's gonna die before he can get his stripes. What does it leave me with? Alright, I've got three... Unfortunately, not three rookies. I still have Graves here, who shouldn't be here. At least he's got a mean smoke grenade. Oh, God. Three damage. <laughs> it might be more effective to use grenades instead of shooting. Because their guns are pathetic. Alright. It's time to use Arrow. Let's see if she, if she can save the day. If not, a bunch of rookies have to do it. Yep. Uh, 
Eh, it's not a bad chance to hit. Should get at least one shot off. Oh, shit! Holy! Oh, I thought that was a kill. Well, it wasn't, but that one was. Damn. I am impressed. Alright, Graves, you need to run and hide in a corner. And I need to kill this sectoid. Can anyone make it up here? Without sprinting? No. Um, what was coming from over here? I think there's one more sectoid. Wasn't it a commander? I believe it was. Man, these rookies are so gonna get mined. A uh, mind controlled? They probably have really low will. What's their will? Or not? Okay, you have terrible will. But this Dirk Dirk de Graf here has amazing will. Oh wait, the squad leader is nearby, improving this unit's will. That must be why. Yep, nearby leader. Okay. I'm glad I got that. Apparently somebody has really high will. I'm not sure who. Um, I kind of want to move them back so they get that the increased will. I don't know, where, where can I put Graves so that he's safe? I'm just gonna, yeah, let's just put him up here. I'm just getting him the hell out of there. Graves, stay in full cover and stay high. Hmm. I think instead of facing this, um... Yeah, instead of trying to face this sectoid commander, which is probably over here, with a bunch of rookies, I think I should just position them up here and wait for them to come to us. Or I could even move them up here, where they could get mind controlled, but they would have a great height advantage. Ooh, full cover. Nice. Alright, well, you're just a rookie, so let's use you for scouting. Let me guess, Sectoid Commander? Oh no. Going. Okay. Pretty confident about what I've got here. Got a good setup. Lots of cover, lots of height advantage. Killed the most biggest threats. I'm amazed you didn't die, actually. That was a plasma weapon. What are you doing, little guy? What are you doing? What are you up to? You're so cute. Oh, he tickled my mech. He tickled my cotton candy. That sounds like a terrible, terrible euphemism. Hmm. Right, well, you're almost dead and you're expendable. So... Ooh, I want to move you up. Yeah. Up. <laughs> I love that Jeppu module. You know, I might want to defend over here. Or do I? Depends where they're going to come next. I mean, I have these two guys here, but of course they suck. So, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, I'm going to move them over here. I could always run away if there's a problem. No, everything's good. Um. Um. I don't know. Just shoot. Just shoot in the face. <laughs> a nice splits, Zectoid. That's eh, not a bad chance. I do want some Overwatch here. Of course, Graves being the highest leveled, has an amazing chance to hit. Oh my god, these weapons! They're terrible! 
They're so bad. Oh, you need to reload. Badly. I could even put down some proximity mines. Oh. I so want to do that. I know there's a commander coming from in here. Yeah, okay, I, um, I'm gonna do that. I was gonna use up the rest of your ammo if I shoot. Let's use you. Okay, good. Achievement unlocked, all hands on deck. Unfortunately, I can't launch a mine to end reload. I really want to reload. Oh, okay. I want to do a mine, but I have to be honest, reloading is definitely more important. So let's just move so we get a little bit of spread here. Some more coverage and reload. Um, I want you to be in cover. And I want to know what's around here, so... Let's take a peek. Okay. I knew you were there. And I believe we have another one over here somewhere. Probably hiding. Just overwatch. Alright, we got all bases covered. Got a good amount of overwatch. Yeah, come on in. What are you doing? Oh, he's running away. He's so cute. They're so cute. Oh, hi. I knew you were coming. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, boy. I love John Cotton Candy Smith's voice. Alright, well, I think there's still a sectoid over here, but... It's the only major threat. Maybe I should still cover this plate. I probably should still keep him here. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep a good spread. Alright. I saw you go out the window, so I'm assuming you're somewhere here. Let's take a peek. Oh, hi. Alright. Now is the time to start launching proximity mines. Anything over here? No, can't launch it there. Actually, I could move you and then launch it, I suppose. I do want one here. Hmm, something could also get up here if it wanted to. There's a pipe and there's a ladder. I'm gonna go ahead and plop one there. There's a that, that thing is floating. That's interesting. Overwatch, 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 and surprise! More Overwatch. We're picking up activity in the ventilation system near the mech okay, I'm glad I left my mech there. Let me guess, chrysalids. Quiet. Did you hear something? Mm, yep, chrysalids, and you're dead. Come on, move, move. Yeah, move. I encourage you. Ooh, that's a bigger problem. What is that sound? Oh, good. It's John Cotton Getty Smith. I thought that was, I thought that was another mech toy or something. All right. Well, I can get two really good shots on you. What, Sixty-three percent. God, that's low. Um, I don't think I have to worry about that thing this turn. It's not going to be able to get close enough to me to hurt me, so let's just ignore that. I could burn you and all of my rookies, and I don't care about the rookies, so why not? Killing it with fire. Uh, what? 
What? The fuck? I, uh, I. When I said I was gonna burn them, I was joking. I'm. <sighs> I should have gone to clicking class before becoming a commander. I, I think I left click, and for some reason that act. I thought I had to right click to use. Oh fuck. I, oh, I'm so confused. Well, have fun tearing up my rookies. It's gonna ha it's gonna have to get through my wall of rookies to get to my mech. <laughs> and if I shoot at it right now, the funny thing is, it's only gonna come closer. So I might as well just Overwatch. I guess. I can get one shot off on it here. Oh fuck. Ah, <sighs> well. At the moment, everything's coming from that side. Um, let's get you out of there, Arrow. Alright, none of you can get there close enough. I don't want Graves to get there close enough, so... Alright, I'm gonna move you in to take a shot at it. Yeah. They need some support. Badly. Okay, whoa, what the hell? You have a shot on... Oh, the ladder hole. <laughs> oh boy, that wouldn't be good. Um... That's a surprisingly low chance to hit. I could just do a proximity mine, it's guaranteed to move. Which would be a damage, which is pretty good. I don't care about that little shit down there. Yeah, I think that's the best thing. I could either do this or overwatch. Or take a shot, but taking a shot would be stupid. Let's do this. Is it going to stick to his face? Almost. Right in between his legs. Alright, more overwatch. And I'm not going to shoot with them, I'm going to overwatch. Yeah, because I don't want it to move closer this turn. Alright. We're picking up airborne hostiles moving on the rear guard station, Commander. I'm not Great. sure the alien ground forces can reach that area. They may be limited to aerial units. Okay. So we got some heavy floaters coming in, probably. Alright. They both missed you incompetence. He's dead. Bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and that's why I hid graves. So he doesn't end up in the graves. You can't attack. You're too far away. Hello, you little fuck. Who's coming up on my rear? Oh, damn. You almost killed it. Oh, that's not a heavy floater, that's just a normal floater. Cool. Well, I'm not gonna sure they're I'm not sure they're gonna activate my mines. For they're in the air, and that is a terror Oh fuck. <gasps> oh no. Help me. Somebody help! Oh, great. Add to the party. I want a rocket. I want two rocketeers right now. I want three rocketeers there right now. I could kill them all in one turn, but unfortunately, I have none of that. Okay. Right. They need support severely. Fuck, if only I had some AoE. I have nothing. Nothing. Revealing arrow right now would be fucking suicide. Maybe. You're just straight up dead. Should I even use you? I could use you to try to kill one drone. Decent chance you could do that. Actually, no, I could guarantee the- ooh, uh, yeah. Okay, that's actually the best move. You're almost certainly going to die, but... Let's get some damage here. 
That is undoubtedly the best move. It's not a lot of damage, but it's going to damage a lot of things and will kill the drone, which means um, it won't be able to heal the cyber discs or whatever the hell it does. Going to damage the most things. That's five. That's four. Five is better than four. That is very efficient. Didn't actually kill much, but it hurt a hell of a lot. You unfortunately have no AoEs whatsoever. So I could probably kill one of the Cyber Discs. Which... Uh, no, I'm going to wait for them to come. I'm not going to freaking touch her. She's going to stay invisible. I'm not even going to put her on Overwatch. Because at the moment, they're the only people that can really defend from this onslaught. I need my other troops to be in here as well. I want to wait for them to come to me, so what can I do here? I could flame them. How do I get out of it? Ah, fuck. I think you right-click. I'm just, I'm just gonna press escape. There. I'm pretty sure you right-click, but now I'm not even sure anymore. <sighs> My two shots are probably the best thing to do. I could maybe kill both if this hits. And if it does 13 damage, it's probably not going to do 13 damage, though. Um. See, I want one of my mechs to be able to relocate over here. So I want to deal with this with this, just these two people. Hmm. See, I can do three damage to both. And I can do five damage. That wouldn't be enough. Flame would be six. Five, six. That still wouldn't be enough. No, I need to shoot. Alright, well, let's just shoot them both and let's see what we've got. Okay, I got lucky. I got very, very lucky. Which means now I can kill you. Whew. That means I can move you. I almost want to just kill this little fucker down here. Maybe I should ignore it, though. I probably should ignore it. Yeah. Okay. Um, in a movie here, <laughs> I desperately need support over here. And let's get some mine action. I got one down here, but they're probably going to be coming in from up here. Um, that's a rather risky place to put a mine, but according to the range thing, it would work. Shame I can't launch it through the window. I could double up down here, but that's probably a bad idea because they're almost certainly coming through up here. Ooh, what was that? I saw. Hmm. Wait, where's that going? That's like down below. I. Is. I don't understand the. I honestly don't understand the mine. Okay, it'll be activated if anything gets inside of the radius, but since anything behind the wall will be blocked, does that mean it won't take damage? I, I don't know what that means. There's really nothing else I can really do here, though. Doubling up mines down here again I think would be stupid, so we're gonna do this. Shouldn't hurt my troops. We'll see what that does. And I'm just going to have you stay there. Hunker down. They don't know you're there. You're safe. Fuck me throw a grenade. Hmm. Hmm. Move him up. Let's move him up. 
Yeah, I definitely want my AoEs ready for when they encroach on my position, and let's wait. You need to stay back here, I can always use your smoke grenade. How far can you throw that thing? Not too far. But, I need to keep you alive, so I'm not worried about that. Just, uh... Yeah, just Overwatch. Oh yeah, forgot about you. I could kill that sectoid. I was gonna ignore it. Nah. Let's kill it. One less problem to deal with. Even gridded. Alright. What's gonna happen this turn? This is gonna be a scary turn. Right, that recruit's probably dead. I'm just resigned. Yep. Kinda resigned to that fact. It's okay, he got a ton of damage off with his grenade. And now the cyberdisks come in. Please blow up a mine. Please. I dare you. Stealth mode, that's fine. Okay, what are they doing? I lost my eyes on the situation. Come on. My hands are cold. Nothing? Oh my god, that is amazing. That's about the best thing that could have happened. I actually have time to reposition my troops. Okay. It's a shame I have no snipers. That's that's very very good. Where are they? What are they doing? Are they just in Overwatch or what? I'm certainly not going to move into their position. That's a death trap. They can come to me if they want to fight. Where should I put you? See, here you have a view on there, but you're probably too far away to shoot from here. Here you can shoot there, but only if they actually come through. If they're actually just, like, floating up here like that guy, you won't be able to shoot them. I think I will... Ah, that might block your way. Yeah, I'm gonna be safe. And just move you here, because that might block a shot. Alright, so we need some serious overwatch here, and again, I'm not going to do anything with you, Arrow. I do not want to reveal you. I don't want to lose another one of my troops. Any full cover I can move you up to? Yeah, it's far away. It'll have to do, though. Alright. You need to get closer. Simple as that. Oh man, he needs to reload too. I think he can only shoot once. It's okay though, we can take a shot and launch a grenade, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing with him. Alright, you can hunker down. Your move again, aliens. They're going to come in. I know they are. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, that was incredibly effective. Incredibly effective. Okay, I guess there is no occlusion of the blast of those uh, proximity mines. Much to my happiness. Damn. Cyberdisks? What's happening? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You have one hit point? Oh, it's so cute. Oh, you're so dead. As soon as you're in the sights of graves, you are dead. He might have a shitty weapon, but he doesn't have shitty eyes. Alright, well once again, I don't want to blow your cover. You're way too exposed there. You could get a couple cyber disc blasts on you, which is very bad. And you have a ton of ammo. And my other people need to reload, so I think I'm just gonna shoot. Yep, you're dead. Now what's more valuable, a reload or an overwatch? Um, 
I think an Overwatch is more valuable. Yeah, he has a he has a couple good shots left on him. Now I could move you up and get eyes on the situation, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Nothing. Where are those cyber discs? There's no way I killed them. No way. None. Reload. Overwatch. 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 Definitely reload. Do I want to move you up first? Um. Not really. I don't. Something moving in the vents near the mech bay. Yep, that's exactly why. Because there might be something behind me. Alright, are the cyberdisks gonna show up? Yes, there's a cyberdisk. And I believe you're gonna die to reaction fire. I should have enough here to take the thing out. It only has what five hit points? Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you what are you what are you doing? 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 Oh. I'm amazed you lived. Okay, please kill it. Please uh you're probably not gonna kill it. Especially not if you miss. Now, it would have had to be a crit, though. Ten. Actually, no, that's the maximum damage the weapon can do uh, with normal. Normal damage. So it actually wouldn't have to be a crit to kill it. Yeah, the plasma cannons. Uh, or whatever they are. Plasma rifles? Something. Plasma somethings. They can do up to 13 damage. That's some pathetic aim. Mmm. Shit. Well, you're dead. Oh, actually, no, you're not. That's not too bad. Anyway, you're expendable, so who cares? What's happening? What? What is that? Oh, <laughs> that's it? Whatever. Eh. Gonna take them at least a couple turns to get to me, and they're just normal mutons. They're greenies. They're adorable. Ooh, that's not adorable. Neither is that, but that one's really far away. Alright, I can just ignore them. We need to deal with the cyber disc. Got more reinforcements awaiting orders, Commander. As soon as the power banks spool up, no. we'll send another group through. No, is that is that soul? I think that's Don't give me my fucking troops in such a shitty form. They're all gonna die. I need to hide him in a corner. Ah. Oh. At least I have my- I have one super rocket. I really wish it didn't get- why does it give you your troops in such a shitty form? Is it because they don't have any- they didn't have anything equipped because I didn't have a chance to outfit them? You know, because I do the make items available? In the loadout screen? Which takes away all the special stuff from all of your troops? Is that why they're such- they have such shitty outfits? Like, that's... I don't know, it's really lame if that's how it works. It's terrible. I mean, I spent all this money on this equipment, but... My troops just don't have it. My mechs are truly the ones that are carrying this entire mission. <sighs> Alright. You apparently are blind. I guess you're too far away from that thing. I believe that's an Overwatch, that uh, that form there. That absolutely terrifying, expanded form. So I don't want to move anyone except Arrow. And even Arrow, I don't want to move over two Overwatches, because she still could be shot. She can only avoid the first. Which means I believe I... Oh, he only has one shot. Alright, whatever, just take it. Let's see what we got to work with here. Alright, you're dead. I can grenade you. Yeah, that shut up your Overwatch, didn't it? Yeah. What? Is that... Oh, wait, what? I, I don't understand that trajectory. Can someone can someone explain how that physically works to me? It's gonna go right under the cyber disc, hit the ground, and then bounce up to nearly the same height as whence it came? Is this a bouncy ball grenade? Um... Okay. I wanna see this in action. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. I guess it has a rubber coating or something. That, okay. Hmm. 
Alright, so my best bet here is to move her down. Where should I move you? Yeah, I'm gonna move you here. Actually, you don't even need to avoid the overwatches because you are still in cover. And you're dead. Well, that looked... Oh. Shit. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. I didn't know they blew up and did AoE damage and blew up cover. That's unfortunate. Um, that's probably everything that was over here. What did I... Yeah, I think it's everything. It's certainly all the cyber discs. If there's anything left, it's gonna have to be something pretty small. Alright, so where are they gonna come from? The mutons and the berserkers, above or below, or both? I don't know, but I want my grenades closer. Eh, no, I'll just leave you there. I kind of don't want to move my people. I really don't. I kind of want to just wait for them to come through, but then again, if I do that, I need to move Graves, because then he's in grave danger, pardon the pun, that I've probably made half a dozen times now. In fact, anywhere on this side is in big danger. And nowhere else is in full cover. Alright. I'm certainly not going to move you down. I'm just going to move you over here. And since yeah, you have decent aim, but you have terrible damage, so I'm just going to put you into hunker down. I'm going to put you a bit closer. I'm on my way. You need to get in some cover. On my way. I would reload you, but you're going to die before you even use up all the ammo. So what's the point? I guess I'll bleep. Well, actually, you get flanked if anyone came from these doorways, which is almost certainly where they're going to come from. Yeah, I'll move you there. It's a decent-ish spot. Soul, you need to run somewhere safe right now. That's that's a very good spot. It's in full cover, and it's directly in the opposite side of where the enemies are currently coming from. I'm sorry to say, I don't care about you. So, what should I do with you? Eh, let's move you there. Get some eyes on the ground, I guess. Your move, mutons. How many were there? There were two berserkers and... Oh, I forgot about you. Well, you're dead. Um, there were two Berserkers and at least three normal Mutons, so I have at least five enemies to deal with. Somewhere between five and six. Okay. Looks like they're coming from the ground. I, yeah, they're not going up. Alright, we got quite a height advantage on them. Good job, Jello, or whatever your name was. Do you have a attack? Good, you don't. Otherwise, you would have been dead. Uh, unfortunately, since they're on the ground floor, all my mechs can't really do much. And you badly need to reload. Well, I don't want to lose my hide advantage. So I'm going to move you here. And I'm just going to reload you. You definitely need to get in on this action, Arrow. This is your bread and butter. 
Close quarters combat against enemies that have shit tons of health. I could move you here. Would you have a shot? You, I think you would. You're not particularly close, but... Yeah, it's a good spot. Anyway, even if you don't have a shot, you can always just stay there cloaked. Wait a minute, you're not cloaked. Hey, why aren't you cloaked? I don't think the enemies could see you from where you were, and you just moved into full... Co ah, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty good. Holy shit! 17 damage! Oh my god. That's right, she has the... What's it called? Oh my god, she has so many things. You have all the things. Where is it? Where is it? Well, there's a plus 10% critical chance per enemy in sight. Which, I believe we had two, so that'd be plus 20% critical chance. And... Oh yeah, activating running gun now also grants plus 50% critical damage for the rest of the turn. That must have been it. That is amazing. <laughs> A 15% chance to do up to 4 damage. whoop de doo I could blow up your cover, but... Dare I say, I think the best thing for you to do is run around a corner. Commander. Yeah, I want, I want some sight on that hole down there, because that's where they're going to have to come through. So let's pack up here. I want to be able to see it and shoot at it. But I can't do that from here, it's too far away, and if I'm on the ground floor, I don't have the height advantage. What'd I just do? What? 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 What did I... What the fuck did I just even do? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't even know what I'm doing now, like... I'd like to claim responsibility for fucking up, but I don't even know what I did, so what did I even... What? Did I collateral damage? He shot, like, down. It didn't do anything bad other than use up ammo and waste his turn. Alright, whatever. Got misclicks all up in this thing. Can you shoot a rocket down there? Oh, you can. Cool. <laughs> oh god, how much damage can you even do? Should I just hunger you down? Nah, there's no point. Well, they're not gonna kill anything even if they shoot at it, so fuck it. Hunger down. Ochiang Jello. Actually, it's more like Jello. But I'm gonna kill you Jello. Nah, eh, Overwatch. Um. Uh, hunger down. Not worth the risk. All right, come on in. I've got a welcoming party for you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he was critically wounded, but I'm pretty sure he died from the fall. <laughs> oh my god, that looked so painful. I think he broke his neck or his back or both. I have lost four of my troops. And none of them are critically wounded, but this little fucking rookie gets a critically wounded and can be stabilized. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm just gonna hunker down. I have no medkits, there's no point in trying to save him, and I wouldn't care to even, even if I could. Sorry to say. All right, now you should be able to mimetic skin, right? Full cover to full cover, nobody sees you, right? There we go. I guess I guess she was spotted. Whoa, where are they? Yeah, I guess before last time I moved her, she was spotted from her starting position. I didn't think she was, but I guess she was. She must have been. Where are they? I am confused. They must be really hunkering down in there. <laughs> Do 
Do you think if I moved inside of this globe, this hollow globe, that maybe they would, they wouldn't be able to see me? They'd be so confused, they wouldn't see me hiding inside of the hologram. That probably wouldn't work. And yeah, I'll keep hunkering down with my most important troops. Commander, we're picking up contacts moving through the forward access Ooh. tunnel ventilation system. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Was that close combat specialist? It had to have been, yeah. Alright, now they're finally moving up. Who, who's shooting? Who's... Oh! Well, that's not gonna do much. Alright, so it looks like I have, um... A large wave of mutants to deal with, as well as something new. Alright. Yeah, I'm not surprised you missed. You were shooting through a wall. What's coming? Oh, okay. That's fine. I was worried it was a Sectobot or something, and they're not going to be able to get to me for at least two turns. Eh. Throw as many my way as you want. Oh no, Jello's got. Oh, whoa. What? What? What's coming? What's co Please don't be more Cyber Discs. Please don't be more fucking Cyber Discs. Please. 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 What? what what's happening? Oh, I'm in control. Why did it move over here? There must be something that came over here, but I guess I can't see it. I... I don't know. I'm hoping it's not a cyber disc. It's probably a cyber disc. In fact, that makes me want to move Soul away. Because she's the... She's the one that's going to receive the brunt of the cyber disc... Discery. The disco. Where the hell can I move her, though? I can't really move her anywhere. Except on the ground. That's all shitty half cover. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. For now, what do I have to deal with? Two standard mutons. Okay, not a big deal. Oh, she can't see the one behind her. Which I guess means it can't see her. I guess... Yeah, I'm gonna move you here. And then just take him out. That one's gonna have to move in if it wants to shoot her. They don't have a shot. No one has a shot. I could launch a grenade, but using that would be very stupid. I should just wait for it to come in. Who has eyes on that? Someone can see it. Who sees it? Is it you? No, you can't see it. It's you? Oh. Oh. Um. I... What's the point? I mean, really, what's the point? Up to four damage. Uh, yeah. Let's just That's move you fire. over here. And reload you. You need to run. Somewhere. I guess here. It's half cover, but at least it's away from here. Which is a danger zone. Yeah. Alright, these are going to have to defend from any cyber discs. And hunker down. I haven't had a chance to use any smoke grenade effectively yet. Well, you're dead. I'm just kidding. You get to live five more seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. You're dead. I was just kidding. Psychological warfare. Stress out the enemy. Ooh. Good job. Shot failed to connect. Alright, we're gonna get the berserkers in here? Yep, here they come. That's gonna be a job for arrow, no doubt. Where ooh. I'm sorry, Jello. 
I'm afraid you're going to die. You will be one with that computer monitor for the rest of your life. Maybe you'll be a ghost in the machine. Actually, no, you're just going to be dead. Right, so there's only one enemy to deal with at the moment. I would like to get eyes on this berserker, which I could probably do by moving her here. Actually, I don't want to deal with it this turn. I want to deal with this one, because you've got you've got me flanked. How do I deal with you effectively? That puts you in a good spot for next turn. Actually, can you just shoot him now? That's a very good chance of killing him. And I don't have to move her. Hold on, can I kill him with someone else? Anyone else have a shot? Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Now let's do that. Excellent. Okay, because I really want to use arrow to kill the berserker that is coming in. What is happening with his model? <laughs> okay. His head is through the wall. And he's also breathing some sort of mustard colored gas stuff. Anyway. Let's possibly kill a Berserker. Most likely, though, it won't kill it, but it will do a ton of damage and bait it out so my mechs can take some good shots at it. So, let's go here. Can I see it? Good. Okay, so I'm going to get it to come here, and then we should be able to take at least one shot at it from above. Hello! Why did you come closer? Yeah, you're enraged, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, look at that. You seem to be in range of both of my mechs. Let's use the one with more ammo so I can reload the other one. Let's try that again. There we go. That's better. Good job, John Cotton Candy Smith. Your gun is as sweet as your candy or something. Mm, Overwatch or reload? Uh, Overwatch. Hunker down. Overwatch. Hunker down. Overwatch. Another berserker? Oh no, chrysalid. It's all right. I don't think that chrysalid can move far enough to hit her this turn. Probably not. No, no, it just made one. It just used one point, so now it can't attack. Same with that one. Yep, there's one turn. One one movement point. There's the second one. And that's why I did Overwatch. Is it going to pay off? No, it's not. Oh, well. It's still a good move, nonetheless. <laughs> Close combat specialist pays off. Oh, yeah. Jello, you jiggly, wonderful, jiggly person. You know what? I don't even need to shoot that thing. If it comes near me, it's pretty much dead. This with close combat specialist. Um, she actually really needs to reload. That's what she needs to do. Who has shot? What can? Can anyone hit that? You can, but you're sure as hell not going to kill it. You have a shot at a different one. One that you don't need to worry about. Hmm. No one can really hit it. That's a problem. That is a problem. Alright. Two... Go! Did I... Oh, no. Oh, oh I thought she was doing an animation. I thought she was going to throw a grenade at her face. Which would have been funny, but stupid. Um, two grenades can kill it. 
move you back to start with. Who else can throw a grenade? I just need one grenade. Anyone? I don't see how he could possibly throw it beneath you. I didn't think so. <laughs> I could shoot a rocket. Don't think I can get a good angle on that. I could of course move one of my mechs down, but I really don't want to. And I really need to reload her. Um. Um. Shit. Alright. I could do a risky move here. I could do a pretty risky move. I'm thinking if I move her here and I move Arrow here, I could reload her gun and when this chrysalid comes to kill her, close combat specialist will activate and most likely kill it. And this one shouldn't be able to attack us from over there in the same turn. But then, then of course their flanks are exposed back here, which is bad. Or I could bite the bullet and just move one of my freaking mechs down, which is probably what I should do. Probably what I should do. In fact, I think I'll just do it. Let's just do it. Height, height advantage is not everything. It's definitely not everything. Unfortunately, there goes all of his ammo. Alright, um... Let's hide in the corner. And reload. And when that chrysalid inevitably comes around to attack her, it will die. Hunker down. Overwatch. Hunker down. Overwatch. Um, my mechs need some ammo. You have two shots. Two shots. Now nah, I'm gonna reload. Back here. Commander, we're picking up a steady uh. alien activity near the forward access tunnel. It looks like they're concentrating a force there. I'd get prepped. Someone's just taking a reaction shot at something. Missed. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's gonna die. Close combat specialist. Close combat specialist. Close combat. What are you? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh no. All right, everybody's missing, but Arrow won't. Come on, go for Arrow. I dare you. Oh hi, you're dead. I'm so glad I got that. What the fuck? Oh god, it's gonna be a cyber disc, right? No? Just a bunch of drones? Hmm. I guess I should move up. Oh, no. There's a cyber disc. Oh, fuck. Maybe I shouldn't move up. Maybe I should wait for them to come to me. That is really far away. What if I moved everyone up here? Ah, oh, fuck, all that's blown up. Eh, it's a bunch of half cover. This is really open, though. This is, this is a good place to engage them. Because everybody would be able to take a shot. And all this shit's blown up. I don't think there's anyone left in here. Hold on, let's um let's scout. Full cover, full cover, full cover. See if there's any stragglers left. Uh, doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think that's everyone. Alright. I think we should probably move up here. I can't fit everyone up here, though. But... Hmm. Do I want to fight them here? I could be on the same level as them. At least. So I wouldn't be at a height disadvantage. That's a good thing. 
Man, this is really big. Oh, look at that. Talk about a height advantage, that's nice. Could even potentially get up here before they arrive, maybe, probably not. All right, let's move up. Yeah, there's no one in here. Not for at least a couple turns. You need to reload badly. Um, I do want you near the fight. Just for the smoke grenade, if nothing else, but I don't want you actually fighting. Probably just end up moving him up to the door. In full cover, maybe? I don't know. For now, just go there. I also want Soul nearby, even though she's extremely, um... Vulnerable just because of her terrible armor. She had she does have a very good rocket. Does eight damage and it has a huge range. I really want that. I want that capability. It's all shitty half cover. Actually, ooh, that is full cover right there. You know what? I'm gonna put it right there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't care about you, might as well move you up. Moving to target location. Yes, Commander. Alright, hopefully we should have a nice perimeter set up with a good spread, some good cover, and everybody fully reloaded before they arrive. Moving to target location. I've learned my lesson about grouping up. Don't do it. Was ist das für ein Geräusch? What the hell? What? Are they gonna like get here this turn? No. Time, okay. We're not picking up any additional contacts. If we can take them out, HQ will Oh disappear. my god. That's what? Two sectoid commanders, a cyber disc, a couple drones, another. Thank oh my god. Thank god I have the will thing. Jesus. I've got the auxiliary power bank spooling up now. Once they reach a full charge, the doors will open and I'll send another group of reinforcements through. Good. Good, I'm gonna need them. Although they're gonna be terribly equipped as always. Fuck. Alright, what what do I have? A cyber disc, two mech toys, a couple commanders, some drones, one of those ethereals, which don't have all that much health, but they have mega psi powers. Thankfully, I believe everyone's close enough to get the... Never mind. The will thing. Who, who, Who's providing the will? Who's the commander? You're getting it. Got 88 will. I'm not sure what the radius on that thing is. I guess it's not particularly large. Yeah, I'm definitely waiting for them to come to me. <laughs> I'm definitely going to wait for them to come to me. What the hell? What? I didn't know you were hiding down there. What are you doing? Fuck off. Little bastard. So well hidden, you'd think he had memetic skin, but he didn't. Alright, I want you to be right up in the shit, as always. You will be my eyes on what the hell's about to crush my face in. Is that full cover? Half, half, half. Half, 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 whatever. I'll move you up somewhere good next turn. Alright, Graves. Need you in full cover, but I want you close enough to use a smoke grenade, so let's put you there. You should be safe. Especially if I hunker, hunker you down, which I'm going to be doing.
Yeah. Hmm. Let's put you there. Hate to lose the height advantage, but I need you closer to the group. Or closer to the the battlefield. Hunker down. Overwatch. Right, I'm gonna move you up here. Perfect. I have a feeling your rocket is going to come in handy. Look at that, I can shoot pretty much over the entire battlefield. Yep, that is gonna be very nice. Hunker you down. Overwatch. Okay. I'm pretty much all set up. If they don't show up this turn, they're going to show up next. It looks like they're coming in from the left up here. Are we going to see him? Are we going to see him? Hmm? Hmm? No. Ooh, ooh, reinforcements. Re- <gasps> Yes! Isley? You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I could kiss you. Uh, oh my god, and you even have all the stuff. Because you're equipped, right? Yeah, you have stuff. You have your proper weapon. Oh, that's fucking perfect. Perfect. She might have just saved everything. Okay, you need to go high. Um, what do you have again? I know you have the half becomes full cover. Damn good ground. Also, have Executioner, which is going to come in handy against things like drones. Oh, that's going to be so good. Combined with... Arrows, mimetic skin, fucking perfect. Perfect. Oh. All right, where do I put you? I guess just here. Yeah, I mean, that's all blown up. Yep. All right, you're in full cover and you have a height advantage, so you're pretty damn safe. That, wait, I thought, I thought that was a sprint. It wasn't. Okay. Could have sworn that was a sprint. Anyway. Alright. This... There we go. This is what I really wanted to do. I think they're coming from over here. Where should I go? Here or here? I'm not sure if this would give me any, any eyes on the bay, but this would allow me to open the door next turn. Um, let's go here. I hope the ethereals can't see through my... Oh, God! I hope the ethereals can't see through my disguise. Yes, yes, I see them. No, no, she still has mimetic skin. Okay, good. Next turn. Isley's gonna open up a can of whoop-ass. And this is a very good time to use her rocket. Although I'll have to be careful not to shoot arrow. Alright. No one's gonna be able to shoot, of course. Nope. In fact, I could actually use the rocket right now. No, they need to come in more. That's... I'm only going to hit one thing. Alright, hunger down. Uh, is there anywhere I can move you in that's full cover? No. Nope. Ooh. I want to reload you, but no. I really need to use your overwatch here. What, did I just... Oh, God, I did it again! I know exactly what I did. I hit the wrong key. Oh, fuck, you're out of ammo. I hit the wrong key for the Overwatch. I think it's because, like, adding stuff sometimes switches around the numbers, and there's different numbers for the Overwatch key for some people. Because you, you double hit the key to Overwatch. Like, for example, to activate Hunker Down, you can hit 5 twice. Like, when you first press 5, it opens this up, and if you press it again, it activates it. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I need to pay more attention to the keys. Because the Overwatch key is unfortunately different between the troops. Which honestly shouldn't be. It really should be the same between everybody, but I don't know. It's kind of a problem that's existed since the first game, and they've never changed it. What are you doing? I was going just suspiciously close to Arrow, but thankfully he didn't do anything. Alright, you're dead. Or not. I guess not. Alright, we're good. You know, if I didn't have Isley, I'd be freaking out. But we do, so I think we're okay. Oh, shit. Well, she's revealed now. <laughs> uh, not necessarily a good thing. I really didn't want her to be revealed. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Please don't shoot arrow. Yes, yes, run away. I encourage you to run away. Please run away. Thank you. Ooh, that beam's actually really pretty. Look at that. It's beautiful. What just happened? What are, you, what, what are they doing? Huh. Oh! Double close combat specialist, although unfortunately it has the shield, so it doesn't really matter. Good effort. Good job. Okay, thankfully the cyberdisk, uh, neither the cyberdisk nor the ethereal has showed up. However, everything else in the entire universe has. Um, right. First thing I need to think of is in terms of AoEs. I can launch a grenade. Or I could reload. <laughs> Great options. Grenade would kill both of those fuckers, which is probably for the best. That'd be good. It would kill that. It would kill one person, uh, one alien, and it would kill the drone, and it would kill the link, which would kill the buff. What do I do with you, though? There's a, see, there's another link in here. Where is it? Oh, no. No. If I move her in there, she's going to get ripped to shreds by a, a cyber disc, an ethereal, and all sorts of other shit. So, nope. I'm not, I'm not moving her back here to kill that. Now, sh even with the Psychic Link, I could pop the bubble with Rapid Fire pretty easily. Might be the thing to do. In fact, where she's at right now might actually be a good spot. What's her chance to hit? That's very good. That's very good. Alright, how do I work this? I can't believe I waste his fucking ammo in his turn. God damn it. <sighs> Alright. I think I can just get both. Yeah. I can't. It's really close to hitting arrow, but it doesn't. Um, actually, hold on. Wait, what can we do with Isley? Anyone not in cover that can die. Are you... You're in cover. I guess you automatically have cover because you're flying. Um, that drone is not. So, that's a guaranteed chance to kill. So, let's just do that. I mean, there's literally no reason not to. There we go. Didn't use up our turn. Very good chance to kill that. Very, very good. I don't want to use the rocket yet. There's really no reason to, and it's not particularly efficient here. In fact, I think I just want to reload you. Alright, um... Unfortunately, you're getting flanked by that fucker. I kind of want to move, like, down here, but then I don't think I could shoot it. I, I want to I wanna use my rapid fire on it. But where can I move effectively? Alright, so rapid fire is not going to kill it, probably. Uh, but it'll get close. 50% chance... Eh, it's probably not going to kill it. Okay. However, when combined with this, it probably will. But then what do I... How do I deal with those? Alright, you can kill that.
which is probably exactly what I should do. That's not a good chance to hit, though. I'll take it. Alright, it paid off. Take out that little fucker. Alright, let's do that. Let, let's do this. Let's just ignore that little shit. And let's do this. Actually, I probably should have left the enemies in sight, so I got a better chance to crit. I could actually disable it. Maybe I should disable it. Um, 10 damage. Ooh, if it critted, it's almost certainly dead. If it doesn't, it's not. Who else could shoot it? You could launch a grenade at its face if you needed to. Um, I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. Let's see if my rookies can do anything here. Okay, rookie. The fate of the world is up to your 55% chance to hit. Holy shit! You've proven yourself. Good job. Now, what does it leave me with? You. You little two health bastard. I cannot leave you alive. Graves, you need to stay safe. Stay there. You can't hit shit, of course. Could I throw a grenade if I got closer? Hmm. Maybe. If I moved up here, maybe. What the hell? You're you're expendable. Let's do it. Let's let's see if it works. Oh, I th if you can shoot him, you probably. No, you can't. But you do have a flanking shot, which is decent. I'll take it. <sighs> no contact with the target. I could kill it with a rocket, which would be about the most inefficient rocket ever made. Where? What? Is, what is this shot? Is that a shot on the roof? Look at that. It's like taking up the inside entire screen. I think she's shooting the ceiling of this base. Anyway, um, just hunker down. Right. Oh, of course. You're short by two feet. Great. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you do this? Ah. <sighs> you literally can't do anything. Alright. Guess we overwatch? Yeah, it's Overwatch. Okay, so I can blow you up, or I can reload and make you vastly more combat effective. That thing only has a damn plasma thingamabob pistol. Do I really need to worry about Arrow? I mean, she's being flanked, so she's almost guaranteed to get hit. I don't know. The thing is, if I launch this grenade, he literally can't do anything next turn except kinetic strike. No, I need to reload him. He needs to reload. Alright, uh, Cyberdisc gonna show up. Ethereal, please don't. Please give me one more turn. <laughs> please. Oh, you made a bad move. You could have shot me where you were, but you decided to move. If only he knew. Oh, hi! Are we about to get another close combat specialist? Apparently not. Who, who did you just shoot? What did you just shoot at? Oh god, that thing needs to die right fucking now. Okay, the AoE. This is the rocket time. This is rocket time. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, f no, they're too far away. I think they're too far away. Might be able to hit, like, one? I can't even hit one. Alright, fuck. Ah, if only she was closer. If only she was close enough that I could blow up this entire building, I could hit all three. Anyway, you are in extreme grave danger. However, that cyber disc actually doesn't have much health. That's pretty much guaranteed to kill you. In fact. 
which is nice. I should probably do that. Wait, can you get... Can you shoot twice? It's not telling me I can't do it, so I guess I can. It's gonna use up all your ammo. You. Alright. <sighs> Fortunately, I already used headshot. Killing that ethereal is going to be difficult. Who can you hit? Nothing. Great. What can you hit? Nothing. Even greater. <laughs> Whatever. 35% chance to do up to 4 damage. Whoop de doo. Cannon fodder. That's all they are. Cannon fodder. Hmm. Okay. What do I do here? I can guarantee the death of the Cyberdisc, but do I want to? I kind of want to guarantee the death of the Ethereal. I kind of really want to. Like, super duper bad. I could disable the thing's guns. Which scares the shit out of me. Because I've never used it before, I'm not exactly sure how effective it is. But, you know, I probably don't need to do that. I could probably just do a normal shot and then move my mechs up enough to take one shot at it. Probably. I really want to kill this fucker before it gets me. Can I move my mechs up enough to shoot the ethereal? Yes, but they probably wouldn't have a good shot. Probably not. Unless I could cyber... A uh, Jepu module and shoot him from here. Not a bad idea. Could I do that for both? I could. I could put both my mechs right up here. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. Right. So, you're dead. Which, hopefully, the AoE doesn't hurt me. Please? Please? Nope, that hurt. Fuck. Didn't think of that. Didn't think of that. Well, great. Okay. Arrow. 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 I don't think I could... I couldn't smoke you even if I moved you up as far as I could, Graves. Shit. Well, close combat specialist will activate. Right. Unfortunately, that fucker's in cover. The ethereal is the real one I need to worry about. Alright, we need to move up. We need to help her out, and we need to give them more targets to shoot at, so hopefully they don't expend all of their stuff on her, and why can't I jump up here with a normal run? I thought I... Hmm. Alright, that's confusing. Alright, I might be able to get something going here, though. Okay. Maybe a shot, if not a grenade? Well, not a shot, but a grenade. Yeah. Alright, you have tons of hit points, so move to the front. Okay, good. Now what can you grenade? I could do... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This might be very good. Isley, you can shoot... Okay, you can shoot the commander. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to blow up its cover, which will then allow me to kill it for free with Isley and not use up her turn, as well as doing damage to the Berserker. Which, doing damage to the Berserker will actually activate Close Combat Specialist, except she's out of ammo, so I don't think that's going to work. Alright. This is a good move. Good good combo here. The Berserker's going to move closer. Probably won't work with Close Combat Specialist. Yeah. Well, it moved closer to my mech, but then it turned around. Right, so that's... 
That is literally a guaranteed kill. Okay. One problem down, two to go. Okay, I really want to kill the Ethereal a lot more than I care about the Berserker. So I think I want to save my grenade for that possibility. In fact, you could even do a normal shot. Eh, it's not worth it. Although, that would cause it to come closer, but eh. Nah. <laughs> you can actually take a shot at it. That's cute. That's cute. Alright. It's time to attempt to take out the Ethereal. Please, please, please crit. Please crit. Please crit. Please crit. Actually, I think there's a 0% chance to crit. Yeah, it didn't crit. That thing's not going to die this turn. But, I can at least soften it up. Where's, where's the, where's the bubble? Where art thou bubble? Well, who cares? It's gonna work. <sighs> Almost dead. Almost. Couldn't even rocket it. I think I need to move her up. She's too far away. She is. She is too far away. All right. Where to? Any full cover? No. It's fine. I'll just hunker her down. All right. What kind of range do you have from here? That's better. I'd like to be able to cover this entire entrance, though. It's all blown up. Nah, it's going to have to do for this turn. More useless Overwatch, I guess? Sure, why not? Hunker down. Who's left? Who, who can do anything? I'm sure still not killing the Ethereal. That's... Oh, fuck, where did I move you? That's the third misclick this mission. Okay, well, you're dead. That actually might be a good thing. If they shoot at him, it's going to be a distraction. Please, yes, please shoot at him. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. I Oh, you're not even dead. That is amazing. Yes, please mind control him. That was the best thing I ever did. That wasn't a misclick. That was a... It was a calculated thing. It was on purpose. Seriously, that's like the best thing ever. He's my patsy. Everybody just shot at him mind control. They just wasted their abilities on... Whoa, that's not a... What was that? Oh shit, that looked like a kill cam, but thankfully it wasn't. Okay, good. Jeez. She has more hit points than God, so no, she's not going to die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. She has 25, 26, 27 hit points. She ain't going to die. Alright. Um, she's literally useless. She literally can't do any damage aside from her stupid pistol, which is pointless. So she needs to run and reload. Let's figure out what to do with her next turn. I mean, not next turn. At the end of the turn. I, I'm probably going to end up moving her here and reloading. But it's possible I'll have an AoE that needs to shoot over here. Nope. I don't... Well... Actually... I could kill my own troop. There's no point, though. All right, hold on. Uh, first things first. Let's take out the Ethereal. It's not in cover, so this won't use her turn. Problem number one, gone. Hopefully that doesn't do damage to the person he's mind-melded to. Thank God it doesn't. Okay. Now... If I can get these reasonably low to, say, 7 hit points or below, none of them are in cover, so I can use Isley to finish them off. Which actually shouldn't be too hard. In fact, I might be able to just have you shoot each one once. Alright, let's try this one first. Oh, 
Who can you shoot? Alright, you can shoot the Berserker. Alright, try it again. Come on, please. Five, six. Yep, that's a guaranteed kill from Isley. So let's finish you off. That is proving to be... I, I, honestly, I thought that in the zone or whatever it's called would be less valuable than double tap, but I'm thinking it might be more so. I'm seeing some really good combos with it. There's no doubt that double tap is more reliable because you can always count on having two shots, but... I'm getting a lot of efficiency out of this. A lot. Okay. Let's use you to soften him up. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is amazing. And I can use Isley to finish him off. And use the rest of his turn to reload. Instead of shooting again. Wait, what? You... What? Can someone explain why Isley can't see the berserker that is standing out in the open and is not covered by anything? What? That's not a problem with the combination. She has all of her turn still. That makes no sense. Alright, can I kill you with someone else? Because I kind of want my mechs to reload. Can I grenade you? Nope. Holy crap! That was exhilarating, a nice change of pace, and utterly terrifying because they kept giving me really shitty troops that were people I wanted to actually survive because they were my troops, some of them, like Soul and Graves. And they came in the weakest form possible, so I had to protect them, but oh my god, that was an awesome mission. That is so cool. It's such a nice change of pace. Wow. They shall not pass. Achievement, indeed. Hang in there, soldier. Having to fight our own people. Will he be okay, doctor? Yes, I believe he'll recover. And more importantly, he seems to be free from outside control. Is there any indication of how this happened, doctor? I finished our initial scans, and so far, I found no physical abnormalities. We already know the aliens are capable of some kind of mind control, Doctor. Yes, but that doesn't explain the lack of a nearby controlling alien, or the sheer number of victims. If the aliens were capable of launching an attack of this scale previously, I believe they would have. Perhaps this was a one-time opportunity. That might be true. We still need to find out how this was possible. Another successful mission. Excellent work, Commander. Why, thank you. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I fucked up quite a few times with misclicks. With... What with shooting the ground, and then shooting something else, wasting the rest of my ammo, and shooting the flamethrower. But... I didn't lose anyone I cared about. The Star of Terra! That is the final medal. I was wondering when I would get it. Ethereal Autopsy. My first Ethereal. That's a decent, decent haul. Ooh, how many sectoid corpses do we have? Sectoid, sectoid, sec... Sec... Sectoid? Or, what? What? Or, I'm sorry, not sectoid. I mean chrysalid. Uh, oh, oh, there, we are. there they are. Six. So that'll allow me to get... One, maybe two chitin platings if I have two uh, chrysalid corpses already because it takes four. Cool. I've been waiting way too long for those chitin platings. Alright, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, the metal. Star of Terra. Alright, what can we get here? Entire squad receives plus five will and plus five bonus in battle. Robotic units receive only the defense bonus. Entire... Wait, so you give it to a person, but it upgrades the entire squad? That sounds really good. 
All soldiers in the squad at lieutenant rank or lower gain plus 25% XP for completing missions. Hmm. Eh. Nah, this is better. <laughs> A plus 5 will and plus 5 defense to everyone is... That's great. What do I call it? Star of Terra sounds cool, but it's not very descriptive. Squaff, what the hell is Squaff? The Star of Squad Betterment. Yes, it makes the squad better. Ment. Perfect. So, apparently anyone... Uh, the squad that that person is on will... Always receive the bonus, so I should give it to the person who's most likely to be on the squad. Which... I guess might be my... Can you even award medals to mechs? You should be able to. Yeah, you can. I guess I'll give it to my mechs. Yeah, they're honestly the most likely to go on one of these missions, so let's give it to John Cotton Candy Smith. <laughs> he's in his formal uniform, and he's... You can see... Oh, uh, he has his base augments on. <laughs> that looks really cool. You deserve this. You deserve a lot more than that, John Cotton Candy Smith. You are amazing and delicious. Okay, well, I think that's quite an eventful episode. Yeah, oh, why? What is with this double right click? Why does it do that? I'm just clicking it once. Okay, it, it seems to be working now. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm starting to think there might be something wrong with my mouse. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that is one hell of an eventful episode. That was one of the coolest missions in probably the... No, definitely the coolest mission in the entire game. It's just such a nice change of pace. I think the original XCOM, or XCOMs? I'm not even sure how many XCOMs there were. I know there's XCOM... Like, the original, and then there's Terror from the Deep, which... Is that an expansion pack? I'm not even sure. Uh, but anyway, I know with the original, or originals, one of the very cool things about it that I've heard people talk about a lot, and one of the things they missed from XCOM Enemy Unknown, is the ability to... What was it? Like, you could you could build your base, just like you can here, but... Um, the, the placement of the structures within your base actually had an effect... Uh, a deeper effect than they do in this game in that I think you would what was it like you would get raided by aliens or something like you just saw here frequently like you really needed to consider the strategic importance of where you're placing your structures whereas in this case it just gives you a predetermined map of your base so where you put your structures it only has to deal with um, space efficiency and where you're getting the adjacency bonuses but it really has nothing to do with tactics of fighting enemies because you never really get raided and when you do it's a predetermined map so I guess maybe they were trying to, like, harken back to that. That sort of thing, the sort of base building and defending your base, which is cool. I mean, obviously it's not as involved as what I've heard the original has, because you don't you don't actually get control over the map that you fight the enemies from when you're defending your base. Uh, but it's still pretty cool. It's a very nice change of pace. And that was a very... Oh, such a tense... Such a tense mission. Because there's a massive number of enemies, and they're extremely powerful, and if you lose, you lose the entire game. Just flat out. If you die, you are dead forever. That's hardcore, and I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. Well, I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.